one of the strangest, most secret elements of Grand Central Terminal is this. Only in a terminal as huge as Grand Central Terminal would there be buried within it a secret train station. This train station, hidden within the 49 acres of Grand Central Terminal, was built for one person only. It was built for Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Now we know today that FDR had polio and he couldn't walk, but believe it or not, that was kept from the public and the press. Most of the American public had no idea their own president had polio. Now, when he would arrive in New York City, he would arrive on his own private train. On that train would be a train car that carried enclosed within it his presidential Pierce Arrow limousine. There are many elements of this train car that were befuddling to us. One thing that made no sense to us at all were the suspension systems. Certain elements of it are vastly overbuilt. These suspension systems are so designed to eradicate any lateral motion because with no musculature below his waist that lateral motion would have him flop over in a car seat in a train seat etc that train would come up right next to a secret train platform a door would open up he would be driven off that train car in that pierce arrow limousine be driven down the platform be driven directly into an elevator custom design for the length, width, weight of that limousine and so high that the Secret Service could remain standing on the running boards and by simply pushing a button it would bring FDR and his staff all the way, all the way up would stop, a door would open up and he'd be backed out directly into the grand ballroom of the Waldorf Astoria, sight unseen by the public, by the press, and even by the Waldorf Astoria uh, workers. And to this day, uh, the special presidential suite at the Waldorf Astoria has a direct historic connection to this deep, dark, murky train station.